What we have here is a generative AI knowledge base catalyst. It's a knowledge base powered by Gen AI, and we're using Amazon Bedrock. And just imagine being able to type in a question to a screen and get an answer rather than searching all throughout Google. But this isn't anything like ChatGPT because this is custom to your business. So we can ingest different data sets anywhere from Jira to your Notion, to Slack, to any other data sources that you would like to include for you to be able to get the answers that you would like from the generative AI knowledge base. First of all, we'll talk a little bit about the architecture that we're gonna see. This is uh, representative of the framework that we've built around our knowledge base catalyst. What you'll notice here is there's a couple of sections that are in dotted lines. Those are places where we've identified option out. So since we've identified already that this is a generative AI knowledge base catalyst, you're not surprised to see LLMs at the core of the solution. What we've tried to do here, though, is really emphasize the value that AWS brings in terms of model options and, and hosting options and the ability to fine tune or to customize models in, in AWS. And so we've supported both SageMaker and Bedrock here. The demo we're about to see is, is built on Claude V2, but it could have been it could have used any of the supported models. Um, Lambda, it won't surprise you to see in any AWS architecture, um, but supporting multiple interfaces, we're not going to show a Slack interface. We have a web interface today, but the idea of, of developing something this in an API driven way would be to be able to deploy it wherever your customer facing individuals or the consumers of the knowledge base or, or, or wherever they live their lives. And then on the right, taking advantage of the different vector in document stores on AWS, our demo happens to be based on Amazon Kendra because it was the easiest way for us to crawl our website and use that as a knowledge store. But we can also drop in the open search vector store that was recently announced, as well as uh, the PG vector through uh, Postgres on Aurora. So there's a lot of optionality here, really the ability to uh, meet customer needs for price performance and you know potentially their existing technology choices is what we've gone for. And then fundamentally, what does it look like? It ends up looking like a pretty straightforward question and answer bot. I'm just gonna ask a, a question that um, ChatGPT or um, or some of the other alternatives wouldn't necessarily know that's really tied to who Kalent is, and that's uh, who is Valerie Henderson. I happen to know the answer to this, so I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. We're gonna see what the uh, chatbot comes up with. So what you'll notice about here is that uh, we have some really specific knowledge about Valerie Henderson, who's Kalen's president today. So that's a really, really cool ability to build in some Kalen specific knowledge into this. We have additional details. We happen to have obviously crawled the website and you can show you from the sources here that this this happened to be come from a blog post. Um, the nice thing there is that the way that we built this again, it sources, it cites sources so that you know you're getting canonical advice and you can go to the source itself if you're, you know, if you're happy with the summary, but want to know more, if you want to really dig deeper, you can follow through there. Also looking at the way that we think about other AWS services in the ecosystem, we've incorporated Polly here for speech to text. Ultimately, we'd love to build in a, a, a speech to text on the other side to take input questions from you know, spoken queries. So I think it's a really exciting opportunity to, uh, to work with us. It gives customers the idea of what's possible with the knowledge base. It's not significant to, to implement something they could really quickly get done. And in fact, one of the ways that we demo this for customers is if we have 10 minutes before our demo, we'll get their website indexed in Kendra, and then we'll use that to answer questions specific to the customer. So it could be a really impactful demo experience when they see their, their data showing up conversationally.